Wait, so that mean that, so that mean that, let's say, I'm a sinner. That mean the kingdom of God is present right here, right now, but it's up to me whether or not I can step into that through fulfilling his law, right? Say it again. The kingdom of God is here right now, within me and around me. No, it's not within you because you're not, you're not keeping it's the written. You don't got the laws on your mind. It's written. Now, now, now you go, you go live within the kingdom of God. And then you got to do what you say because like you just said, he going to kick you out of his kingdom if you don't fulfill his law. We have we are be kicked out of his kingdom. That's why we live in what we live in right now. Right. Right. Uh, so what you, so what you say, you're going to enter his kingdom. I want you to, I want you to listen to this. Hold, 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 hold on, on. So you say you're going to enter the kingdom of God when you die. That's what you said. Go into the kingdom of God when Christ come back and destroy these nations. That's But that's not what that mean exactly. What do you mean? That's I can't. I'm not. I'm not saying that that's not what that mean. As in, I know exactly what that mean. But I know that that's not. That that's that that's a, you didn't even rational. That was a, that was a vague rational rationalization of saying that the kingdom of God is within you and around you. You said like, you you brought that point. I know, up. No, I'm saying I brought that point up. But you saying that's a surface level interpretation of it, of uh -huh. what the kingdom of God is. But, that's a bad understanding. That's what I'm. When I say surface but, level but, understanding, but, but, that's, that's a bad. That's, understanding. Not, that's, that's not, the that's wrong understanding. That's of a literal reading of, of of the words that's coming out of man's mouth. Okay, so if the kingdom is is in you, why are you not ruling? Bring it out. Bring it out. Why are you living in the dirty streets of Chicago? Not saying that's you're living on the streets, uh -huh. but why are you living in Chicago, which is labeled Chirac? Right. Why are we on the bottom? Right. Because just just by business, are we the same people? I'm not, am, am I the same as you? As far as nation, we're not the same. Even if, even if we, even if we wasn't saying we Israelites, I would say I'm black if I didn't know that I was Israel. Right. I would say I'm African American, just like y'all would. Why are we still living in the curses if the kingdom, if if the kingdom of God is here? Right. Because I can walk okay, around. You can walk around all day and say the kingdom saying, of God is saying, in me. I think, I think that, I think that you looking at that as saying. It's already there, and it's and it's not shit that needs to be done essentially for you to step into it. Uh -huh. But I don't think that's what it is. I don't think that. Give me that. Luke 17 and 21. Chapter 17, verse 21. Read verse 20. Luke chapter 17, verse 20. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said. The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Read that again. The, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come. So the Pharisees, those rulers of the rulers of us, that was not keeping the commandments, they asked him, and they asked him, most of the time they asked him questions what they were doing, testing him. They asked him, when should the kingdom of God come? Read, what Christ answered to them? He answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. What did Christ mean when he said that? He said the kingdom of God does not come with observation. I mean, he's not, not talking about the observation of Passover? No, he's not talking about He said the kingdom of God does not come with observation. Observation, right. So what we do? 
you'll never know when he's coming. What do you mean, huh? You'll never know when he's coming, right? Nah, that's not what this going into. What does it mean? He said the king. He said what? He said the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Hold that and give me James. I mean, so observation. So basic. We. I'm observing everything that's happening right here right now. Right. Mm -hmm. So if, right. You, if you observe everything that's going on right now, the laws that came out, all of that, and then you turn around and don't do it. That's what Christ is talking about. Right. Okay, Meaning so you, so you so observe, so you read the Bible, you right. memorize right. the scriptures. You're actually gonna flesh it out. Yes, you have to you have to do what the Bible says too. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Right. Deceiving your own selves. This is what Christ was saying. He said the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Right. This is what he's saying. Right. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Because if you just if you just hear the word and then go about your day and do everything you've been doing, you just observe it. Right. Word. So let me clarify this with you. You said that the kingdom of God does not come with the observation. Mm -hmm. And it's going to come, you you play a hand in bringing it about through your fulfillment of the law. Through your action, your keeping the commandments. All right. right. Cool. Because why, why, are we living, why are we living in the conditions that we live in today? And so, and so that's not what I, I want. I want getting that, like, the kingdom of God is within us and around us as in, like, Everything is all right, and you like it's no effort to be made. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, when Christ said the kingdom of God is within like, you, right? what's within us? The spirit. Your mind. Your mind is I thought. So if the kingdom of God is within us, how does the kingdom? How do we bring the kingdom of God here on earth? You think so? Your thoughts? No. Uh, well, Not only by thoughts, it's starting your thoughts, but it's by his laws, us keeping the commandments. Actually, because why are we why are we on the bottom now? Give me uh Judas eight. I, is that Judas eight? Give you, Judas I, five. I Judas I five and that, twenty. Because when Christ was saying yes, the kingdom of God is within you, he letting us know. It's for one, you gotta change your mind, you gotta start applying the commandments. What? When you apply the commandments, because now why are we in the bottom of society? I okay, I why are we on the bottom of society right now? Because we didn't keep his commandments. Because we didn't keep his commandments. Why did we go through slavery? Because we didn't keep his commandments. So the way the way out of this condition is for us to keep his commandments. Right. And when we keep his commandments, then you are in his kingdom. Our God is gonna fight for us. Wait, so that mean that so that mean that let's say I'm a sinner. That means the kingdom of God is present right here, right now, but it's up to me whether or not I can step through that through fulfilling his law. Right? Say it again. The kingdom of God is here right now, within me and around me. No, it's not within you because you're not, you're not keeping it's the commandments. You don't got the laws on your mind. It's written. Now, now, now if you're going you to live within the kingdom of God, and then you got to do what he say because like you just said, he gonna kick you out of his kingdom if you don't fulfill his law. Yeah, we are we kicked out of his kingdom. That's why we live in what we live in right now. Right. Right. Uh, so what you so what you say? Well, you look, enter his I want you to hold on to this. Hold on to this. So you say you gonna enter the kingdom of God when you die? That's what you said. We're going into the kingdom of God when Christ come back and destroy these nations. That's right. So that's when we gonna get the kingdom. That's when you go into the kingdom. That's so, how we're going to get the kingdom. Only if we're keeping the commandments. Right. If you're not keeping the commandments, then Christ will come back and destroy the other nations and you with the other nations. That's right. I'm saying so, brother. But I feel like you're disregarding the fact that he's telling you the kingdom of God is in you. How am I disregarding? Because what? What's up? Read this. Because you Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. So this is the other nation speaking of, about us. They said if there be any error or sin in this people, speaking about us, the Israelites, right. the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, if it's, if it's any error in us, read if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, and they sin against their God, what is sin? Not keeping us together. Exactly. What sin? So, so we can show what that is. Hold that. Let's get what sin is. First John three and four. So we want to see what the Bible says sin is. So it's not my words. It's not his words. It's what the Bible says. Right, sir. It's what the Bible says that the sin is. So you remember, he said, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their God. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. 
Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin, and it's the New Testament telling us that sin is the breaking of God's law. That that clarifies the point that Christ didn't do away with the, the, the laws of God. Because right. what other laws would he be talking about in, in 1 John? He says sin is the breaking of God's laws. Read that in Judah. Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. So he said, if they sin against their God, this is going to be their ruin. And what, and what now, with that thought process that they had, what, what, what did they say about that? Read. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. He said, let us go. So since they in sin, we're going to go up, and we're going to be able to overcome them. Because they in sin. They broke, they broke their God's commandments, so hey, let's go. Let's take advantage of it and go get them. That's what happened to us. That's how we came over here on slave ship, because we was breaking God's commandments. That's why we're living at the lower society, because we're breaking God's commandments. We have no good regard to God's laws. Read. But if there be no iniquity. But. But, 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 but cancels out everything you just said. He says, but, read. If there be no iniquity in said, their nation. But he said, but if there be no iniquity in that nation, if there's no sin in the nation of Israel, read. Let my Lord now pass by. Let their Lord defend them. He said, let, let my Lord now pass by. Let their Lord defend them. So if we can be keeping the commandments, our God gonna fight with us. He gonna fight for us. He gonna make the nations bow down before us because we're keeping his commandments. We doing what he we doing what we what he created us to do. Keep his commandments. He only gave his commandments to Israel. So when we keep them, he gonna he gonna back us. He gonna be he gonna have our back. Read. And their God be for them, and we become a reproach before before all the world. So the nations know that, and we have to understand that when we keep the commandments, we gonna stop being the bottom of society, and it ain't gonna happen in an instant because the whole nation gotta be doing it. That's right. It ain't can't just be one here, one there. We all got we gotta come together and keep the commandments, return to the commandments, and then what that be that come. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. What books is he talking about that was open? He said he saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. He said the books were open. What books was open? And the books were open. And another book was open. Said, another book was open. Uh -huh. Along with the, the books. Right. Read. Which is the book of life. Which is the book of life. Which is this Bible. This Bible is the book of life. Right. So our books was open, meaning everything that we've done in our life. And it was open with the Bible. Read. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books. So we was judged, said we're going to be judged by the things written in this book. If we don't, if we did the commandments, then our judgment is going to be just. We're going to get the kingdom. Right. But if we wasn't keeping the commandments, we're going to get put to death. We're going to get thrown in a lake of fire. Read. According to their works. According to their works. Not what we thought. Not that we knew the Bible cover to cover, but didn't apply it. But by our works, our application of the commandments. That's 21 and 1. Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. So this new heaven and the new earth that was it came down from heaven, this was the kingdom of God. That's coming right. down to earth to rule on earth. Right. It's talking about the nation of Israel coming back to our kingship. Us being the kings of the earth. Right. Us ruling over the earth. Right. Things being restored back to how they're supposed to be. That's right. Read. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no this, more sea. talking about this current kingdom. This current, current kingdom is going to pass away. We see the, we see the, the first things of that coming to pass now. That's right. There's many wars going on. There's bombs. You think nuclear weapons are just there for show and tell? Right. The pestilence that's going on. All this stuff.
stuff is happening, these are birth pains. This kingdom is coming to an end. That's right. And who got next? We got next. We do. That's right. That's why we out here teaching on the streets. We out here teaching to show our people God's laws, to have our people return back to the commandments. You understand that? Read. And I, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. So the new key said he saw a new, a, new, a new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven. The new Jerusalem is us being restored back to what we're supposed to be. Us being restored to being the kings of the earth. From being from from this captivity, we're gonna be restored because why? We coming together and keeping the commandments. We returning to our God. We remembering who we are. We remembering that we are the Israelites. That's the New Jerusalem. Uh, read. New read Jerusalem. Verse, I want you to read verse four. Verse four. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So this is what's going to go on with the new kingdom, when the kingdom comes. There's going to be no more crying. There's going to be no more death. But we still see these things. That's how we know that Christ didn't fulfill all things. Because if he fulfilled, if he fulfilled everything that was written, we wouldn't be here today. We'd have been ruling when he died. When he died and rose and resurrected, we'd have been ruling with him. Right. But still, things still had to be fulfilled. Things still had to come to pass. We still had to go into captivity on slave ships, like the uh, soldier was bringing out earlier. We still had to go through those things because the, all of the prophecies was not fulfilled in Christ. Only thing that was fulfilled in Christ was things that concerned him specifically. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth